Over the years, I've been fortunate to work with so many great backstrokers, Matt Welsh, John Rooney, Olympic medalists. And one of the things I've found with all great backstrokers, they're generally great kickers. So let's have a look at the backstroke kick and how we can maintain the perfect technique to get the most out of our legs. Now what we want to see on the backstroke kick, as we know, it's a very relaxed action, but we want to make sure that the toes remain extended all the way through the kicking action. I think a lot of swimmers make the mistake of lifting their toes up and getting no propulsion on the down kick. One of the things when I used to talk to Matt Welsh about his backstroke kick is he used to always talk about the propulsion that he created on his down kick. And that's something that we want to see right now on the kick just here. Just notice with Daniel how his feet are fully extended facing the back of the pool. Notice that relaxed action. And notice how the movement is from the hips with the legs nice and long, not too bendy. One of the drills you can do to overcorrect the backstroke legs being too bendy is getting to the kick with a straight leg, even a little bit deeper kick. And that can reinforce a full extension of the legs getting the most drive. We need to keep that full extension and get the most out of our legs by engaging our glutes and our hammies and using the whole leg up and down in a fairly straight position but relaxed position. Let's look at some of the drills that we can use to develop the speed in our backstroke kick. One of the things I do a lot of in all the strokes is, is do a lot of vertical kicking. We sometimes do that with weights or medicine balls on our chest or sometimes we just use the poolside chairs we do those over given time factors. So if we were trying to develop speed, we would do it over 10 or 15 seconds, trying to get as fast as action as we possibly can. But I find this is an easy way to get the pressure on the kick so we get the propulsion on the up kick and also on the down kick. Now just notice now with Daniel with his vertical kicking, how his toes remain extended. A good relaxed action. And notice how he's getting propulsion on the front movement and the backward movement. 